going on everybody and welcome to part 11 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part we are going to be starting work on our own custom menu. And this custom menu might have stuff such as player stats and most definitely the ability to purchase things such as entities and different weapons and ammo. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started here. We are going to be working in three files today. Two of these we already have created, which includes the init.lua file, which is the server side file, and the share.lua file, which is just going to be shared between client and server. The other one we have to create here, so go into your game mode folder, the one that contains all of these other files here, and create a new lua file. Now I'm just going to call this one custom underscore menu dot lua. And once that cre is created, go ahead and open it up. And let's go ahead and get started here. First thing I want to do is include this custom underscore menu dot lua file in our share dot lua file. So go into your share dot lua file and include opening closing parenthesis, then in quotes custom underscore menu dot lua. Now the reason I'm including it in the cut or in the share dot lua file is because I want it to be accessible in both the client and server side. So that's the reason it's in share.lua and not in init.lua or the cl underscore init.lua. But anyways, that is all we're going to be doing in the share.lua file. So we can go ahead and close that after it's been saved. And then go into our init.lua file. Now in here, I want to create a new function. And this function is just going to be checking if the F4 key on the keyboard was pressed. So function gm colon show spare two and then this is going to take in one argument which is just a player entity so ply just for the player and then end this off now once this is done we want to write something else above this and this is oops, going to be a network string and i'll explain this in just one second but let's go ahead and write this down first util dot and util util dot add network string opening closing and then in double quotes we want to put a name of a network string in this case i'm just going to call it f menu because it's going to be a menu that's going to pop up whenever the f4 key is pressed now to explain what this is going to do is the add network string is just going to add a network string that we can use with the net library to do certain things whenever this is broadcasted so whenever F menu is broadcasted and this will make a little bit more sense once we fill this uh, function in or function out so let's go in here then add another line here this is net dot start then in parentheses and double quotes we want to start this network string up here which is called F menu so net dot start F menu and this is just gonna start the F menu basically and another thing that we can do in order to actually get this to be able to be received by something else for it to actually do something we need to broadcast it so we want to do net dot broadcast like so now what's going to happen whenever the F4 key is pressed the F menu network string will be started and then it will be broadcasted for uh, another th or for it to be received somewhere else and the place it's going to be received at is in our custom underscore menu dot lua file. So let's go ahead and get to work in this. First thing that we want here is net dot receive like so. And then in here we want to receive the F menu, which is just the name of the network string that we created here and then started and then broadcasted it so it could be received in our uh, custom menu file. Then after this, we want to put a comma, and then a function, then opening and closing. And now here, this ending parenthesis here, we want to enter down a couple spaces, and then end. So now, keep this in mind, this is very important, we want to end this parenthesis, not here, but after the end statement down here. Once that's all done, we can go ahead and fill this out with any code that we want to have ran whenever the F menu is received by this net library here. 
So what's going to happen whenever this is received and whenever the F4 key is pressed is going to create a menu and show it. And we do this by creating a function here, or not a function, a variable, so local. And we're going to call this menu equals VGUI dot create. And in here we want to create a D frame. And then after this, we just want to stylize this menu. And we do this by just doing a bunch of different things, such as setting the position, the size, the title, and all this other stuff. So we do this by prefixing it with menu, colon, and then whatever we want to do to it. The first thing I want to do is set the uh, size of it. So set size, set size, then in parentheses, I'm just going to set this to 500 by 500. After this, I want to set the position. So again, we want to prefix it with menu colon, since the uh, VGUI that we created up here is called menu, and we want to style this menu. So we want to prefix it with this menu up here. And then here we're going to set the position. So set pause. Then in here we want to do screen width, which is just the width of the game window. And then we want to divide that by two. So we get the center point. Then we want to offset it by half of the x value here, or the width, which is 250. So subtract by 250. So now our x position is exactly in the center. Then we do the same with the height. So screen h, opening, closing, divided by 2, then subtract 250. Now that this is all done, our menu will be exactly in the center of the screen. Next up, we want to set the title of this window. So menu colon set title. I'm just going to call this a game mode menu. And I will show you what the title is doing once we get into the game here and I show you the completed product. Next up we want to do menu colon set drag -able. And I'm just going to set this to false. And all this is going to do is it's going to uh, determine whether or not the user can drag the menu around. Otherwise it's going to stay fixed in the center of the screen. Next up, we want to do menu, colon, show, close, button. And I'm going to set this to true, because if it's set to false, I'm not going to be able to close the menu. And with this true, I will be able to close the menu, because that close button is there. Next up, menu, colon, make, pop-up. And all this is going to do is make it so it actually shows this menu whenever the F4 key is pressed. Without this, our menu will not show up. So once that is all done, go into the game here. Let's go ahead and reload it. Make sure everything worked out fine without any errors. And so far it looks like it did. We press F4 and our menu showed up. And now that we're in the game here, as you can see, the title of our window is set to game mode menu, which is what we set right over here. And we have this close button so I can easily close this. And then we can open it back up as many times as we want. And as you can see, we can't drag it. But if I were to set draggable to true, I would then be able to drag this. We might have to, yeah, we have to reload the game here. But now once we get back into the game, whenever I open up this window, I will be able to come up to the top here and just drag this around all day. So... That is going to conclude this part. That's just the setup of this. We're going to be adding a lot more to this in the next couple of days, in the next couple of parts. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.